Hello! Today I will be doing a tutorial for some trad goth makeup. I know that I filmed one and posted it like, god, like five months ago probably now, but I have since gotten a lot better at doing trad goth makeup and I would like to give an updated tutorial. So without further ado, let's get into it. So usually when I'm doing full trad goth makeup, I like to make my face white because, you know, that's kind of the thing for trad goth makeup, do you use white foundation or white face paint? But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use concealer on my face because there's really no need to show you how to do a white base. If you guys want in the future, leave a comment down below if you do want me to do a tutorial on how I do my white base, but it's fairly simple and straightforward. Uh, so I will just be using concealer because it's easier on me. So I'll just be doing the eye makeup tutorial. But first of all, you're gonna wanna wet your beauty blender. I always do this. If you don't do this, then what is wrong with you? Uh, beauty blenders absorb a lot more product when they're dry and it's just easier to use them when they're wet. So I'm just going to clip up my little bangs. There we go, because they get in the way. It's annoying when they're so short because even these little bits hang down and there's like not much I can do about it, but that's fine. So we're just gonna start off and I'm going to put some concealer, like so. Uh, ignore the fact that I have my eyebrows growing back right now. I just haven't felt like shaving them. I don't know, I will shave them again eventually. I just, you know how people do those like, it's just the little nubs there. Like I kind of want to do that. But at the same time, when I had eyebrows, like my eyebrows were very thin. I didn't really have much to begin with, so I doubt they'll even be noticeable. So I'm going to probably shave them off again. So I have this general area covered with concealer. Um, I'll do the rest later. I don't know why I do it this way. I just, that's just the way I do it, I guess. So I'm going to grab my eyeliner. I've recently been using the e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner, and I really like it. Uh, somebody recommended it to me. I forget who it was. If it was you, thank you very much. I love it. Um, it's really nice. It's really like, it gives very sharp wings, which is nice because I am like a perfectionist when it comes to how sharp my wings are. So that works great. So what I'm going to do first of all is kind of trace out where I want everything to be. So obviously you got to go for that big wing. So I'm just tracing a line out there and it doesn't have to be perfect because the way I do my makeup it's a very much trust the process kind of thing because the process is really messy, but the end result looks really good. So just trust me on this one. So just tracing out the wings and I always like to look back and forth uh, to see if it's symmetrical. Cause if it's not, I will cry and throw myself off a bridge. That's wiggly. Oops. Okay. It's not symmetrical, but it's fine. We'll fix it. Then I'm just gonna go hmm, along here to make that triangular kind of thing. And I'm gonna flare that out a bit just so it's pointy. And the same thing on the other side. So yeah, that's about as symmetrical as I'm gonna get it for now, but once it's filled in, it'll obviously look better. Okay, so now I forgot to go in with concealer. I just do like a line there, cause I wanna get near that inner corner of my eye. Okay, and this might sound weird, but you know how you get like goop in like these corners of your eyes? If you have any like crusties or goop in there, make sure you get it out before you do this because if you try to do it after, you will screw everything up and then you're gonna want to cry uh so make sure you get all your crusties out <laughs> before you do this part okay so eyeliner again and then we're just gonna go so this is like like i connect my brows to like my eyeliner like this so i like to make a little like guideline um right here just so i know where the uh eyeliner is gonna end so same on the other side. That's not the same. That's not symmetrical. 
Um, but I'll fix it. It's fine. We'll fix it. <laughs> it's good. So I should also probably mention that I'm trying a new way of filming. Um, I'm using my back camera instead of my front one. So I can't see what is going on. So this, if, if this looks really screwed up, I'm sorry. Like the way I'm doing it is like, I have my mirror behind my phone. Cause I film on my phone. It has a decent camera, so I film on my phone. But this is like so awkward. And I'm really sorry if this looks terrible. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I probably should have explained that before. Um, but what I'm gonna do, wait, can you see me okay? If you can't, I'm sorry. Um, it's just kind of do a line all the way up there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh, the focus that required. Yeah, these look really thick. I can fix that, that's fine. Um, and then I'm just gonna go in and, like, fix any of these patchy spots and make it kind of pointy, if I can. There we go. Okay. So then I'm gonna go in and line this up here and make, like, my eyebrow shape. Which is, like, here. I'll show you. Well, I mean, obviously I'll show you. It's kind of what this whole video is, is it's a tutorial, so I hope I'll show you. Yeah, this looks really, this actually looks kind of cool the way it is. It's like some like avant-garde makeup. This actually looks pretty cool. Um, <laughs> But then I'm gonna go in and make like, like this little triangle here and then fill that in real quick like so yep it's not perfect but she does the job and so then what i'm going to do is connect this here to my inner corner uh this part stresses me out honestly though at this point what doesn't stress me out with doing my makeup no what doesn't stress me out in general i am just a little ball of stress and that's just who i am I don't know why I decided to go on a rant there, but oh well. <laughs> um, so we, um, I'm so sorry for how awkward th this is just so hard to film and see and do. And yeah, everything is just so difficult. Life is just so hard right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, just you'll see. Like that. Like that's a bit lower down on the nose than I would usually do, but it looks good. Oh, that's so not symmetrical. That's okay. That is okay. Uh, that's okay. Everything is okay. It'll be okay. Fuck! I wanna do something gay to that rock. This damn ass, gay ass fucking rock. I wanna do something gay, like piss on it. You wanna do something gay to the rock, like pee on it? So I went in and like fixed up these lines a little. Yeah, I know it looks atrocious. Please don't click off, like please. I know that half of my videos, 50% of everything I film is just me messing up. Why do you even watch these tutorials at this point? Get a life, man. <laughs> that, was, that was harsh. Don't stop watching, please. Um, but I swear it'll look good. I promise. A pinky, pinky swear. A pinky swear will look good. So what do, what I do now is I use this e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and I'm gonna fill in my wings. I like to use the liquid eyeliner because I feel like a little goes a long way with this one. And I already run out of my marker eyeliners hella fast. So it's just easier to use these bad boys. But just really messily filling that in. It literally does not matter how it looks. As long as you don't go outside of these lines, you're good. I just went outside of the line. I'm <laughs> we're not good. Oh no. We're not good, guys. This is uh, the finished product, guys. 
You like it? Because this is all you're fucking getting. Yeah. Bitch. Just kidding. So, you're going to want to grab uh, eyeshadow, brush, and this really crappy Amazon palette. You no, know, it's just any black eyeshadow. Psych. Just grab a black eyeshadow. I burped. I burped again, but I threw up in my mouth a little that time. Um, so, just do this. Yeah, it's fairly straightforward. Um, I like to, like, set my eyeliner with black eyeshadow. Like, pat it all down, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna wear this for a long time. I just do that when I'm, like, going out. But, yeah, just block that in. So then you're gonna want to grab your blending brush and uh blend i guess <laughs> uh but just yeah fairly simple just blend it out if you need a tutorial on blending uh basically all you do is rub with uh the brush blending is just rubbing with a brush i mess up every step of the way how surprising is that guys Leave me a like down below if that's surprising. Leave me a subscribe if that's not surprising. And do both if I mess up a lot. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm gonna grab my liquid eyeliner. You can use marker eyeliner for this. I just, this is just the way I do it. So then I'm just gonna fill in this black part down here. Uh, up until about here is where I'm going to fill it in. That went a little far, but that's fine. Then basically do the same thing. Grab your black eyeshadow. Pack it along there. And then blend again. Woohoo! I love me some blending. I'm a master blender. I'm blender and then grab a bit more uh black eyeshadow and like do that like like that but not too much just a little little bit there and then blend it till it looks decent then i sometimes do this with colors but i'm just gonna do it with black for the sake of this tutorial you can use colors though uh, just going under the eye there and swooping in like that. And then I go a bit along here, just a little bit, not very far. What is that? What is that? Just blend until it all looks good, pretty much. And then, you don't have to do this part, but I think it looks cool. Like, you could finish here after you do your mascara and stuff, but I think it looks cool to do, like, these, like, lines. Like, really messily. And then I grab my blending brush while it's still wet. And, like... I get some eyeshadow on there and I just make it really messy and cool looking. Um, like that. And this part, like, be messy, but like not too messy, I guess. But yeah, I like doing that because I like the way it looks. So yeah, that part's pretty much done. You can also do those lines up there, but I'm just doing them down here because that's what I feel will look good right now. Um, and then grab your uh pencil eyeliner pencil eyeliner and just take a fucking lighter to it ow oh i wonder how damaged my fucking eyeballs are from constantly poking them with this you know what i don't even i don't even want to i don't want to line my water line right now you don't have to line your water line um but i sometimes do when I am in a good mood, then you do your mascara. Yeah. Mm. So then for lips, 
I like to, I put concealer on my lips and then I forgot to put concealer down there, so I'll do that now. But blend your lips into your skin tone. And then the way I like to do my lipstick is I like to, I overline it slightly. And I don't go all the way to the edge of my lips. And then I wait for that to dry slightly. And you don't have to do this next step, but I like to, cause I like the way it looks. And if I'm gonna be wearing this lipstick all day, I would prefer that it stay on. Uh, I get some black eyeshadow and tap it on there and that sets it. And when I tell you this shit does not budge, it does not, it does not move at all. Oh yeah, I rarely wear lashes, so I forgot how this is how I do them. But, and it says not to do this, but whatever. Cause I'm super cool. I can do this. I put the glue right on my lash line, which is probably not good. Probably is gonna give me like some sort of disease or something. I don't know why they tell you not to do this. Probably cause you could like squirt it directly in your eye. Um, but, I'm so careful. And as you guys know, I never make mistakes. My slogan as a YouTuber is Emily. She does not make mistakes. That's my slogan. Oh, and you have to keep your eyes open because God forbid they close because your freaking eyelids will get stuck together. Um, it's probably too soon to try to put it on, but. This requires complete and total silence. A woman must focus while she applies her lashes. All right, so I have put on my choker and done an extremely half-assed bun. Uh, so this is the finished look. I hope you like this and I hope this tutorial is helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry about the lack of upload last week. I have been filming a video that has been taking a really long time to film. And I've also been trying to, you know, like pass school. So that kind of is hard to do and film YouTube videos and edit YouTube videos at the same time. Um, but I have some really fun videos coming up and I really hope you enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun to make. If you like this video, uh, hit the like button. Maybe give me a comment on what I could do better or what you enjoyed. And subscribe, maybe. Uh, we just hit 400 subs, which thank you so much for that. Uh, it's insane and we're on the track to 500, which is absolutely wild. I would have never thought that the channel would have gone this far. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. Uh, if you subscribe, uh, you get a kiss on the head. That's for you if you subscribe. If you have not subscribed, I beat the fuck out of you violently. I'll see you next time. Love you, bye.